everybody trying to get to Dayton. We'll begin in Sylvania. Wildcats hosting the start. Spartans third quarter. Spartans up six. Preston Edwards, strong take. It's an eight-point lead for the visitors. Later in the third, Wildcats on the comeback trail. Drew Barneski eyes and flies it. Three is good. And then the start of the fourth quarter, Barneski this time off the dribble. Gets the floater to fall off glass. Northview goes up by one. Final minute. Spartans leading by three. Jackson Kloss trapped. Finds Nick Campbell to Nick Eckelmeyer, who hits the corner three. And we're going to overtime. And it's Campbell off the quick first step to the rim and in all Northview in that extra session as the Wildcats survive and advance, sealing the deal at the free throw line to complete the comeback. You know, shots weren't really falling for us, you know, and they, they'd go on their runs, you know. We went down by like six to eight a few times, you know, so he just kind of put, called a timeout. I think we were down like eight, and, you know, he just kind of told us, you know, go possession by possession, lock down on defense and get good shots, get to two feet in the paint, you know, and finish high. You know, they we knew that they jump, you know, and we get sent to the free throw line. So I think all aspects of those were why we came out with the win today. Like the Spartans and Wildcats, Chris Schmidbauer and Rodney Martin working overtime. I don't think anyone would be sending the highlights in for this one for best plays of the week. It was definitely a grind it out type of game. But Rodney, if you're going to play deep into March, sometimes you got to win those ugly ones. Hey, it's surviving advance. You have to go ahead and win the ugly ones and, and continue to expand on what you've already done this year. Try to extend the season, look at some things on film, and then at the same time, look at the matchups and then play on. The guys who maybe are the key contributors, Drew Barneski, Jackson Clausius, really struggled on the offensive end, but they did just enough. And then it was Nick Eckelmeyer, the guy that we all predicted, of course, to knock down the game-tying three. Sometimes you need guys that you're not necessarily always counting on to step up in big moments. Eckelmeyer did a great job. I mean, he spaces the floor anyway. If you notice, they run a lot of five-out kind of sets. So uh, you got guys driving down the lane and they're kicking it out. It just so happened that time he got lost in transition. They kick out, they find him. Obviously, you, he's comfortable with shooting. And Jeremy McDonald's got St. Francis coming up on Friday night. What do you think some of the keys are for this Northview team getting ready for Friday? Well, you can't, if, you're, if you're Northview, you have to make sure uh, you, got, you get control of Heck. All right, see what you can do with Polk. Because last time I saw Polk them play, he got in foul trouble. So if you can deal, deal with that kind of situation and just try to execute your game plan. You know, whatever you come in as far as the game, game plan, execute it, make sure you rebound the ball, not turn it over, and hit free throws. That's this, at this point in time of the year, free throws, rebounds, and turnovers. <laughs> That's it. Pretty simple recipe, and this guy's won a lot of them, so he certainly knows. But for now, back to you guys. And we'll put the cake in the oven on Friday. Here's what the sectional finals will look like. As they mentioned, Northview travels to St. Francis. Finley will host Wait. Fremont Ross, they knocked off Ashland tonight. So the Little Giants head to Airport Highway to take on St. John's. And then Southview Norwalk will be the fourth district sectional final on Friday, leading into the district semifinals.